our corporate sponsor for this evening, our co-sponsor is Northrop Grumman, and I can't be more proud uh, than I am to introduce uh, Northrop Grumman and, and their sector leader. Uh, not only have they been a tremendous, tremendous supporter of us uh, throughout the years, and by the way, one of three companies that's been with us for 31 years. Thank you very much, Jeff, and your team. Uh, they're always a tremendous supporter at this event, and as many of you know, they were one of the anchor supporters of the Space Foundation Discovery Center with their sponsorship of the Northrop Grumman Science Center featuring science on a sphere. Tremendous, tremendous corporate supporter and uh, just a great fun bunch of people to work with as well. And uh, found out just uh, last night or the night before that uh, our corporate host tonight is also a scuba diver. And to give you an idea of his commitment, he has just gotten here after traveling all the way back from the Great Barrier Reef for a little R&R, well-deserved. Please welcome the Sector Vice President and General Manager for Space for Northrop Grumman, Jeff Grant. Oh, thank you very much, Elliot, for that uh, very kind introduction. Um, it's a real pleasure to be back here at the Broadmoor uh, in the Space Symposium. Colorado Springs has this very unique gravitational pull for our industry. It's the home of many great people and facilities that are just essential to the space business. And the fact that it's one of the most beautiful places on the earth just adds to the appeal and makes this week very, very special for all of us. I, I would like to take a moment and reflect on our business, space, uh, and particularly on you, the men and women who are in the industry, in the room tonight, throughout the world and those currently orbiting our world. We are part of a glorious history, a long continuum of people who have contributed to space. We know that for thousands of years, humans have studied the heavens to understand the cosmos, to understand Earth, understand the Earth's place in our solar system and, and the universe. Indeed, the power of patient observation combined with an ever-growing understanding of the fundamentals of physics and our ability to build and operate continually improved science instruments have actually allowed us to reveal and better understand much of our universe. But ours is an industry of passion, of vision, of excitement. For although we've been staring into the skies for all these thousands of years, only recently have these mysteries, some of them anyhow, been revealed to us. The recent contributions to science and the fundamentals of physics brought to us by satellites like Hubble, Cassini, Kepler, Chandra have been stunning. They not only have revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, but they've informed the future, the next generation of satellites, the James Webb Space Telescope, W first, at last, and many more to come. See, I'm as excited today about the space business as I have ever been. And I grew up in some very exciting times. Besides just growing up in the space business, I grew up reading authors like Asimov, Wells, Clark, and of course watching Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek. These were artists who inspired all of us, the people who have created our past and are going to create our future. It takes more than inspiration, though, and imagination to go to space, to operate in space, to discover things in space and from space. It takes people, people like you, engineers and scientists and people of every background who bring all their skills to make space exploration and operations possible. It is great people like you, in fact, who are driving the continued revolution in our business. Sometimes it's difficult to recognize a revolution. It sometimes requires perspective and time. Today, the revolution in space continues strong. We are not a mature industry. We are not resting on our laurels. Just consider the following. We are witnesses to events such as the commercial, think about it, the commercial resupply of the International Space Station. 
we are seeing hundreds of people signing up for a ride on Virgin Galactic Spaceship Two. We have seen the commercialization of high-resolution imagery from space. And in addition to the transformation of the business of space, we continue to see stunning discoveries from space. Consider, last month, a flurry of exciting announcements that using Cassini, astronomers had detected evidence of a subsurface sea on one of Saturn's moons, and also found evidence in one of the rings there might be a new moon forming. Just a few days after that, we heard scientists using the Kepler telescope announce the first Earth-sized planet orbiting a star in the habitable zone, where the possibility of liquid water on its surface actually exists. In addition to new discoveries, we see old assumptions questioned based on observations from our satellites. I took the opportunity recently to read a book by John Moffat. It's called Reinventing Gravity. A physicist goes beyond Einstein, where Moffat questions the fact of dark matter and puts forth the argument that the speed of light and the gravitational constant perhaps haven't always been a constant. But then he goes on to say that space systems, observatories, the future, Data will be gathered that will reveal this to either be true or false, that the systems we build, in fact, will be key to that kind of understanding. National Security Space 2 is primed for great change while continuing to support U.S. forces and our, our allies. Performing our programs of record is of paramount concern, but the future, with disaggregation, distributed constellations, enhanced resilience, are all possibilities. I'm convinced the future for national security space is in a bit of state of flux, but the debate that is going on will clearly yield dividends for us. So the revolution, in fact, continues, and it continues because of the talent in this room and throughout the world. So now I'd like to play a movie that shines a spotlight on that talent. These are some of the people I work with every day, and they never fail to inspire me. And you know the type because you all work with them also. Their passion for our industry, their work, it guarantees that our business of space is bright for now and for the future. So, we see the video, please. Thank you. Advancing scientific discovery doesn't just come down to the data. It's about the people, with a passion to dream, design, build, and make great leaps into the unknown. We look down on Earth. The scientific information provided from space has never been more critical with our planet's rapidly evolving climate. Then we turn our gaze outward. So much of our own solar system remains a mystery, and we're just beginning to discover how many other solar systems there are around other stars. We are not alone in this. It's an international team, and if ever a satellite could be said to belong to the world, it's this one. I flew Navy strike fighters for over 20 years, and when you're deployed, you're just thinking about the mission. You don't think a lot about space, but now I'm here, and I think about space. How do we better conceive, build, and deliver space assets that enable a strategic and tactical advantage for our troops? from sophisticated surveillance to rapid globe-spanning communication across all domains. I'm out of the cockpit now and on the front lines of formative change. Here's where it starts, with a smile, a more inspired way of explaining, making the math and science seem more than just numbers and theories, making it seem fun, making it seem like a path to a brighter future. That's what a mentor does. Most kids know what a firefighter, sheriff, doctor, and lawyer are. We have to make sure that these same kids know what an engineer is by our innovations. Sitting on the back porch staring into the sky when I was two years old, my mom asked me what I was doing. I was thinking how to get to the moon. Dreams are one thing, but building the hardware and integrating the systems to make them a reality are another. Made in America still means something. 
The innovative tools and improvements conceived by our people are reducing production times and costs for a wide array of complex components. The most important ingredient? People. Manufacturing careers require partnerships with local schools, on-the-job apprenticeships, and continued knowledge sharing. There's a human touch behind the technology that can never be taken for granted. We are devising missions on the cutting edge of engineering and science to take us into new realms of understanding. We can do this, and we've never been closer to answering the ultimate question. Are we alone? We are building a time machine that will help us understand the fundamental mysteries surrounding the creation of stars, planets, galaxies, the universe, and perhaps life itself. Our superiority in space can't be taken for granted. We'll need to push the technological envelope and focus like a laser on affordability. These kids look out on the same stars as Galileo and Copernicus. That's their legacy. I never doubted for a second, and neither do they. I may never get to the moon, but the systems we built will go far beyond. And right now, there's no place I'd rather be than right here.